Nintendogs, Labrador and Friends. Such a sweet, innocent game. I'd gotten the game years ago. I was so excited. I had bought a Red Cavalier KC Spaniel when I first started the file. I named her Noodle. She was so sweet. I would spend hours with her, training my sweet little puppy. Feeding her, bathing her. I played the game almost non-stop when I got the cartridge that one cold day. I had gotten many other dogs on the game, but only three stayed with me at all times. The three were Noodle, along with Shelly, a miniature dachshund, and Draco, a German shepherd. They would cheer me up when I was down. They could make me happy when my even during darkest hours. I loved them so much. They were my best friends. As silly as it sounds, it almost as if they were alive. But time went by. I was slowly growing out of Nintendo. It was almost as if they could sense that I was going to leave them. I was starting to play more different games. I began to get on the PC, the computer more often. I started watching more television. Slowly but surely, Nintendogs had been forgotten and replaced. Replaced with bigger and better things. Years later, I was digging through the games, not to play them, but to sell them. I did not want to sell any of my games, but I had to. My mom needed money. I froze as my hands brushed against a small game cartridge. I blinked, picked it up, and dusted it off. Nintendogs, I smiled. Oh boy, I missed this game. The last time I played it, it was before my best friend left me. I stood up, holding the cartridge. My mom was out of the house at the time, so I was free to play it. I grabbed my Nintendo DSi, sat down on my bed, I pushed a small cartridge into the system. A small clicking sound echoed throughout the room. I stared at the cute I stared at the startup icon, however. It looked odd. There was no cute little lab puppy on it. It was just a completely red screen. I shrugged it off, just an error. Nothing too major. I tap the screen and watch the icon disappear as it fades out into the game. It showed the normal Nintendogs Nintendo logo against the white screen like usual, but the writing on the bottom half with the trademarking was gone. Was this normal? Yes, it had to be. It was just my mind playing tricks on me. But instead of a normal happy bark welcoming me, it was just silence. My eyes widened at what I saw. Instead of seeing a normal happy beach scene, the sand was covered with bones and internal organs of what looked like to be other dogs. The sky was blood red, and more bones and other severed body parts scoured the ocean, making it blood red also. Swallowing hard, I looked around for the dogs. I almost wish I hadn't. The minute I started looking, I heard a soft whining noise. Noodle lay there, covered in blood. My mouth went dry as the realization hit me. The bones and body parts were part of Draco and Shelly. This was not normal, not at all. My eyes were filled with tears as I frantically held my thumb on the power button. The DS system cannot be turned off at this time. Wh what? What did it mean? I shuddered, tossing my DSi across the room. It made a loud thud as it hit the it hit the wall. I made a dash for the door, putting my hand on the knob. I jiggled it. It was not moving, and my door did not even have a lock. I opened my mouth to scream, but nothing came out. Sobbing silently, I pressed my back against the door. Closing my eyes, after a few minutes of sobbing, I calmed down. Everything was silent. Maybe my DSi had turned itself off. Maybe I broke it. I didn't care. I just wanted out. 
a icy chill went up my spine as I heard a few barks coming from my DSI. Hesitantly, I slowly walked towards it. Noodle was standing in front of the screen, holding a leash in her mouth. Noodle would like to take you for a walk. I quivered. It never said anything like that in the game before. I shakily picked up my Nintendo DSi, getting a good look at Noodle. Her eyes were gone. There was nothing left but eye sockets. Blood covering her face and some skin and fur were missing. Sobbing, I tapped the no option on the screen. The screen fades to white, leading me to the route section. It, it looked normal, besides the blood red ink. It automatically made its own route. Is this the route you'll take? I frantically tapped the no option. It didn't listen. Noodle and I immediately started to walk. I stared at the screen in absolute horror. All the buildings were on fire. Body parts of humans and dogs alike were scattered all over the sidewalk. Noodle stopped at a dead puppy and started to eat it. I continued sobbing as she dragged me along through this terrifying scene. Arf arf, Neil barked. Oh no, another dog? The screen faded to white for a few seconds before showing a new screen. Maggie is out for a walk. Instead of a cute little Yorkshire Terrier jumping around, it was just a decaying skeleton with some rind flesh on it. Chantal has some stern words for you. I gulped clicking on the red arrow. Your dogs are dead, Lydia. Everyone's dogs are dead. It's all your fault. I watched in panic as Noodle lunged forward, gnawing at the dead body of Maggie. It's time to say goodbye to Chantal. Noodle doesn't seem to like Maggie very much. The screen faded out and back into Noodle and I walking. After a few minutes of walking, she barked once, running out of sight. She came back with a white and red present. Noodle must have found something. She's bringing it to you. You got a dog skull. Noodle excitedly pawed at the screen. The skull belonged to a local neighborhood puppy. I continued to cry silently as Noodle dragged me through more terror. It seemed like it took forever, but we were soon back home. I finally managed to open my mouth and talk. Why are you doing this to me? I choked out, my voice scratchy. Noodle looked up at the screen. Noodle has waited three years for you to come back. I gulped, but you never came back. Suddenly, what was left of Noodle's fur and skin slowly started to melt off. I'll make you suffer. Soon it was just a skeleton left. Just like I did. And just like that, the skeleton collapsed to the ground. My DSi turned off. Sobbing hysterically, I ripped the game out of my system, went outside my house, and lit on fire. Suddenly, I heard some demonic barking, and then I ran inside freaking scared. I never wanted to play Nintendogs again. Just because that hideous game ruined my love for Nintendogs. Anyways, who the hell made this game? Neighbors claim to have heard the demonic barking sound as well. Did this game become real? I told the police about this game, and they felt bad for me. Two weeks later, the police discovered that the game was created by a serial killer of some sort. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Nothing more, nothing less. 